thanks for joining me for yet another tutorial today and this one's gonna be a really quick one for something you may not know as we all know in Instagram now they got rid of the swipe up feature and everyone can include links in their Instagram stories Woohoo! so now you don't have to be like special you don't have to have 10,000 plus followers to be able to use um, links in Instagram stories and to share your sales pages share your website articles, whatever. So that opens up like a whole new world of marketing with Instagram and being able to share things in your stories easily with people. Because we all know if you have to share a link like in your bio or say link in bio, like probably not even half of the people are going to go there. But if you have um, the link button in your Instagram stories, it'll be a lot easier for people to just go like click and get right to your, your content. So you may not know, but another thing you can do in Canva, because like what can't you do in Canva, is make your own custom link stickers. So if you don't want that like usual rainbow colored kind of not so beautiful link sticker that Instagram gives you, you can actually custom make your own. And you can do that in Canva and they can be branded to fit with your, the rest of your story and the rest of your brand. And I'm gonna show you how to make those. And we do have templates that come with them. So definitely check that out. I will leave a code in the description box. It's gonna be YouTube 10 as usual. If you are interested in grabbing any of our templates or products, you will find this new set comes with link stickers that you can customize in Canva. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to upload them to your Instagram too. And something cool to keep in mind is like, you're probably wondering how do they work? Like, can you click on them? You actually can. You'll see when we do the tutorial that you can just slide anything. It doesn't even have to be one of these. It could be any image or like sticker over your link button and you'll still be able to click it. So we're just going to go ahead and get started with that tutorial. Okay, so here is what we'll start with to create our link buttons for Instagram stories. And these come with our template if you purchase it. I will link that template down below. It's Instagram stories and it comes with these nine button templates just to make it a little easier so you don't have to create the size and do all that on your own. And they're already set up for you. But you could, if you wanted, in theory, create these buttons yourself. You could just do a rectangle and you'll be able to put some text or backgrounds within these. But we're just gonna use these for the sake of example right now. And I will just go ahead and maybe use this one. So say that I plan to maybe sell a piece of clothing from my e-commerce website and I want to advertise that on Instagram. I might want to just replace this with a shop now. And another common call to action is tap here. It's more of a tap than a click, I guess. But you can really have it say whatever you want to just a call to action to get your viewer to actually know that they should click here. And you can kind of change the font, move it around. Let me go back to shop now, which be fun. You can move it around to be the size that you want, the color that you want. Maybe I want it to kind of hang off just a little bit so it fits better. You know, and I can still read it. That's all you really have to do. So you don't have to worry about like the corners rounding or anything. As you'll see when we jump to our phone and we put this up, you will be able to do everything in your phone. So you can create as many stickers, you can change all the colors, of course, all the fonts, just like you would in Canva normally. So once you get the one you like, you can go to download. You can select just the one you want, or you can select all of them if you have a whole bunch that you want. It's not even the one I want, you, if you have a whole bunch that you want. So you'll want to download them. You won't want to have it be a video. You'll just want it to be a JPEG. So make sure you do pick that. Pick the one you want. Um, you can ignore this. We wouldn't want to download this as a video for any reason. So go ahead and download that to your computer. You can just save it anywhere you want to. Call it whatever you want to and go ahead and save it. And I will also show you how to download it in the app on your phone. You can edit this on the computer and then get into it on your phone in the app. And that's probably the best way to do it 
so you can get it straight on the Instagram. You could also email it to yourself or message it to yourself. However you normally transfer things between your phone and computer, that's easiest for you is what you can do with this file. So now we are in the Canva app on our phone, which should sync up perfectly with our computer. So we could have created it on our computer and then just open it up in our app and we'll have the same button here. So we'll just wanna go to download it and we're just gonna wanna choose the same thing, JPEG. We got page six and we will just download that and it will save right to our camera roll. So next we're gonna wanna open up Instagram and start to create a story and we'll be able to see our latest pictures in our camera roll. So we'll pick our story once it's all customized and ready to go with what we want. And then the next thing that we're gonna do is add our link. So we click our link sticker and we can have it say our website link, whatever we want. So I'm just gonna put example. And then we'll just place it right there. And then we'll put this over our little placeholder that goes on the story. And after that, we're going to add our sticker. So you'll wanna to go to your JPEG sticker. It might look a little different depending on what's in your camera roll because it shows the latest, latest thing you've created or latest photo right there that you've taken. So you'll wanna select your sticker and then you'll just drag it right over everything. So when you drag it over that link sticker, it is actually going to keep the link live. So I know it looks like it might not, but it will. And then you can go ahead and post that story to Instagram. So I went ahead and just published that story. And now when I go ahead and click on it and I click my link, it'll bring up this, or I click my button, it'll bring up this option to visit the link. And then we would be taken to where our sale is going on so we don't have to look at that ugly link sticker. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something new today and you learned how to add your own custom link stickers using Canva to your Instagram stories. You can receive 10% off the set that we used to show you the tutorial by entering the code YouTube10 on our website and I will link this set down below as well in the description box. And I will also link a 30 day free trial of Canva down below in the description box. So thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next one.